In another video, I'll discuss the pros and cons of overhead irrigation versus drip irrigation. When I say overhead irrigation, I am referring to irrigation that is directly connected to PVC pipe, such as pop-ups or PVC shrub risers. In this video, I'm simply discussing the pros and cons of the three most common types of landscape drip irrigation. I'm not going to go into detail about drip system tips and installation preferences here, as I've covered those things in other drip videos. This video is strictly dedicated to showing the three main types of drip irrigation. The most common type of drip irrigation is using this half inch tubing and drip emitters. The main types are these three, which are button emitters, flag emitters, and adjustable emitters. The button emitters are available in various flow rates that are differentiated by different colors. The next type are flag emitters, which again are available in different flow rates and colors. I do not recommend flag emitters because they are the most common to clog and break off if stepped on. The third type are these adjustable emitters, which are available in 180 degree and 360 degree flows. These are cool because you can adjust the flow rate, turn it off, or flush it out if needed, which you can't do with the other two types. Emitters are great where you have plants and trees spaced far apart and you want to minimize water waste and weed creation. But where you have busy beds like this with lots of ground cover and perennials, it's best to use drip sprays. They also are available in various colors based on how far they spray. It's important to be sure your water pressure is down around 30 PSI or the sprays will fog and won't spray as far as they're intended. Also, it's imperative that you have a filter upstream because the ports on these nozzles are so small, they clog easily otherwise. These green nozzles spray four to five feet based on your water pressure. Since we don't need to have head-to-head -head coverage in flower beds, we just need some overlap to be sure everything's getting wet. So I normally space these about seven feet apart. I normally put them around the perimeter of beds. If it's a narrow area like this, I just put the sprays on one side of the bed. If the bed is too wide for the sprays to reach across, then I'll add 360 degree sprays in the center as needed. Don't bend the riser stakes. If you need the risers to be at a particular angle, then remove and reposition the stake at that angle. Lastly, the least known type of drip irrigation is half inch drip tubing with emitters built in. It's commonly called tech line. This tubing is great for several reasons. If your dog chews up your button or flag emitters, this is a great solution because there's nothing external to buy it off. It's all internal. These are available in 6 inch, 12 inch, or 18 inch spacing, typically at 1 gallon per hour flow rates. Another benefit of this type of tubing is that if you have a hedge or simple layout of plants or trees, you can just lay this down and you're done. No emitters to install. I do not recommend this on well systems or other dirty water systems mentioned in this video. Also, be sure to have a filter upstream for this too. This tubing is not designed to have quarter inch tubing inserted into it. Speaking of quarter inch tubing, there is a quarter inch version of TechLine called Dripper Line that is available in 6 inch and 12 inch spacing, but is limited to 19 foot laterals. If you attempt to run it longer than 19 feet, the water pressure will be too low. This is great for veggie beds. You can also use it in containers or along perennials. So there you have it. The three main types of drip irrigation, emitters, drip sprays, 
and tech line. They all have their benefits. Drip emitters are great for spaced out plantings. Tech line is best for close plantings that are evenly spaced apart. And drip sprays are best for busy beds or beds with mostly ground cover or perennials where it would be exasperating to attempt to get emitters to every plant or flower. The rule of thumb run times for these are typically 30 minutes minimum for the emitters or tech line and 10 minutes for the drip sprays. Feel free to ask questions about these in the comments section below and be sure to check out the free downloads that can help you with your irrigation needs and the resources site where you can purchase many of the products featured in these videos. The links are down below. Thanks for watching. See you next time.